Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Texas. We got our weekend league rewards, and yeah, I tried. I definitely tried to get top 100. I got 12 wins, and I was like, I want to get it. Then I got into this game where I was like, you know what? It ain't that important. I'm going to show you guys what happened. Like, I was on the road to top 100, and then some shenanigans took place. And when I get, like, annoyed, I just stop playing. So we go check out this clip that I got recorded. My Elgato wasn't even up, but luckily the PlayStation has this 15-minute record feature. And I can show you guys exactly the nonsense that ensued. And the reason why I decided to forego potentially getting some stuff. I'm playing Jay Thy himself. This guy is a uh, streamer, I believe, on Twitch. Good guy, man. Very solid skin. He beat my ass, really. I couldn't really stop his play. Uh, let me go back real quick. Basically, all he did was run this, just kind of like a bunch of streaks thrown underneath where my safety would normally be at. So he had a really good scheme, and I couldn't stop him, man. As you guys can see, the score is close, and if I would have just, you know, capitalized on opportunities, the game possibly would have been close. But let me show you exactly how I lost this game and the reason why i like weekend league but i need ea to get the ratings and make it do a better job with actually making them actually matter so let me go ahead and fast forward through this come on come on come on all right let's go should replay right here so i lost this game because my man got a lot of pressure with three and now i think he was on aggressive i think he was on aggressive block shed and aggressive uh well aggressive pass rush and aggressive blocking uh, right here, I had time in the pocket. I had time in the pocket, but nobody was open out of the field because you had eight guys in coverage. But right here is where the game was lost. So look at this right here. So throws right there. So he puts Bo Jackson on the streak. Sean Taylor takes that over, and then he throws right there in that gap in the middle of the field. But look at this nonsense that ensued. My man has Jordan Reed. And I did the math. Jordan Reed with John Madden coach, Redskins team training, and the Redskins uh, team leaders. And also, I forgot to mention this as well, the motivators, Donald Pimp. I believe he had him at left tackle. If you do all that pass block, I think it's like a plus six boost. He'll still have like 85, maybe 86 pass blocking max. And that's 92 powered up Calais Campbell. And yeah, he's, he's stuck. Like he's not getting off the block. I got a tight end blocking one-on-one -on -one with one of the best pass rushers in this game. He's going to keep going. I'm about to pause it right there. Got a frustration when I bang my controls. The plan, I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, I guess that was the end of the clip. All right, anyway, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the end of the clip right there. I ended up not being able to get pressure on this guy. So I think aggressive blocking and aggressive pass rush is back. Occasionally, you may get that off sides, but you even get that if you're on balance. So I guess at this point, you might as well stay on aggressive the entire time because it's... Madden and sometimes it just seems like you may get a bad call but for the most part I couldn't constantly force this guy off sides and on top of that being on aggressive the entire time he just kept getting pressure man kept getting pressure on me to the point where it didn't even matter what I did in this game I was not gonna be able to move the ball down the field passing at least so good game to my man right here but I played this guy's like you know what it ain't that serious. I ain't gonna pull anything anyway out of the elite tier one. It'd be nice to get 18 wins now that they lowered it, but I'm, I'm good on that. So, good game to my opponent, but let's go ahead and get into my Mutt reward packs, and hopefully we get some cool stuff. We got two limited time cards in the packs. Then we got Nick Foles, as well as having the Trey uh, Flowers. People wanted Aunt Mandola. I don't blame them, considering that Nick Foles and Carson Wentz both have high overall quarterback cards. Plus, we just got Bill Rivers. A lot of quarterbacks coming into the game right now, kind of tanking that market. But if you pull him, man, he's going for a decent amount of coins still. So, yeah, we get lead gold, two rewards. We got our Series 3 tokens. I wonder when Series 4 is going to come out, probably after this next upcoming Madden tournament. If you guys are elites here, you might want to get there right away for the draft champions of the salary cap. Let's go ahead and get our NFL Premium Pack, which is going to contain 85 overall. And we'll see how our rewards go this time around. Maybe we can luck up. We got like a 92 overall. Pull 87. No, we can't. Awesome. All right. Kind of expect it. We'll take some of these low-tier goals. All right. Get our Silver Tier Weekend League 1 Pack. What we got here, baby? Can we get some elite flashes? Can we get some uh, playoff golds? Going for a decent amount of coins right now? Um, no. Looks like a bunch of gold, so I guess that's what I deserve. Considering that I could have just got three more wins and got to at least gold tier one. But I just said, F, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to sleep. And yeah, one elite. 84 for Levante David. Got our last and final pack gold tier two weekend league rewards. 
And this one is going to contain some elites, I believe. We got a Kyle Williams. We end up getting an 85 overall Bruce Matthews, another elite, Deshaun Jackson. And last and final card is going to be this low tier Patriots gold. So, not great weekend league rewards. Again, I probably should have just kept playing, pushing through it. But hopefully, this next upcoming weekend league will be able to push through the bull bleep and actually make it happen. So, luckily, I pulled this Joe Staley. Uh, he's Nat, obviously, but because he's. I have his 91. I can power him up. So I'm going to have a better left tackle now going into this weekend league run. I'm going to go on aggressive, aggressive pass rush, aggressive blocking, and see how that works out for me. Because if my man can get one-on-one -on -one action with the tight end on a defensive lineman, because he's on aggressive, I think you kind of got to risk that penalty maybe getting called ever so often. But yeah, I'm glad I got this guy because the upgrade is going to be noticeable and hopefully we can definitely get uh, some time in the pocket because my line blocks when I win games, but when I'm getting pressured by three people, when Khalil Max running right by Lane Johnson, who I got to upgrade as well, when um, my left tackle is getting beat, and when Alex Max not doing anything, my team suffers greatly. So improvements on the horizon pretty soon. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of pack over that we got right there. Post it down in the comment section below you guys pull out of your weekend league reward packs, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.